right. Hey everyone, we're here with Dante Exum after a huge win for the Jazz yesterday, game two against the Rockets. I mean, that was pretty awesome. You guys came out, executed the game plan pretty much to perfection. Yeah, I mean, you know, it was you know, something that we, you know, strive as a team to, you know, do every game. And I think after the, the game one, um, you know, we went into the film room and, you know, said, you know, this is what we got to do to, you know, beat them. And, um, you know, we went out and executed. Yeah, and I wanted to talk to you in particular because you played a huge role in guarding James Harden and limiting him, which is not easy to do. What was it like to go up against him for that long, for that many minutes and contain him? Yeah, you know, he's a, obviously a great player. And, you know, I think the, the biggest thing, you know, when you're going up against someone like that is just to disrupt them as much as possible and, and make life frustrating. Um, you know, that's you know, what I tried to do. Um, and, you know, he's um, a great player. He's going to yeah. adjust the next game and, you know, it's going to be a different game and I'm going to have to find a different way to, you know, um, you know, defend him. Well, we're not going to get into those details because we don't want to reveal the secret sauce because it worked on him. But could you tell he was frustrated? Yeah, I mean, you know, he had five fouls. Um, you know, every time he tried to drive, I was there. And, um, you know, I think, you know, once, you know, that starts to happen, you know, you're just trying to, you know, make him shoot shots that he's not not wanting to take. And, you know, he's, he always gets that step back three and, you know, is trying to limit those as much as possible. And also offensively for you guys, you really seem to find a rhythm. What was working so well? I think, yeah, it was just the, the game plan. And I won't get into that too much, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. about what we did. but. Um, you know, we changed up a few things from game one to game two, you know, based on just what we were seeing, you know, how they were defending, you know, they, they blacked a lot of pick and roll. Um, so, you know, we just adjusted. Yeah, it seemed like you guys were aggressively getting inside as well. And, and, and that's a lot of the game, you know, for you guys, the drive and kick is so successful when you're in that blender, Coach Quinn Snyder likes to he talk about. But I know it was interesting after the game because Donovan Mitchell talked about the confidence stemming from his teammates. Do you feel that as well? Yeah, I mean, you know, we've got that quote going around and the strength of the team is the team. And, you know, I think that was, you know, something that, you know, was in effect last night to, um, you know, 100% just because, you know, everyone was stepping up. Um, you know, AB had a, you know, fantastic game. Um, and then, you know, obviously we had, you know, great games from the guys that, you know, do it night in, night out. But, you know, I think for us to, you know, beat a team like Houston, it's going to take, you know, effort from everybody on the on the team. Yeah. What was it like for you to also get that nice dunk in that game two of the playoffs against yeah. Houston? You know, I, I think, you know, all the emotion came out after I dunked it. You know, I just screamed as loud as I could. And then, you know, quickly snapped back because I had to get back <laughs> on transition deep. Um, but, you know, it, it was just, you know, good to, you know, I think the position we were in and just to be able to get that, um, you know, it was just you know, it's so much fun. So much fun. It seems like you guys are having a lot of fun. Lastly, I want to end it on this. You're coming back. Well, you're back home now with the fans here. What can you expect in game three here in front of Jazz Nation? I think it's going to be one of the, the most wildest games <laughs> I'm gonna, I've ever been a part of. Um, no, I think, you know, even, you know, they were hyped for that, you know, that first series and, um, you know, after we won a game in OKC, okay, so, you know, s similar situation, but, you know, it's the Western Conference semifinals, you know, we're going up against, you know, I'll be the best team in the NBA. Um, you know, I think, you know, they're going to be hyped and they're going to be ready, and I know we're going to be ready too. All right, we're ready for you. Uh, Go get them. Uh, thank you.